It is exactly three o'clock. Beloved, I believe in God and God's divine order for the universe. I am blessed to come from an ancestry that gave the world civilization. The blood, the blood which flows through these veins is royal. Of the queens and kings of Africa, I reaffirm my commitment to that ancestry and to the very present struggle of humanity educationally, economically, socially, politically, and spiritually on this 25th day of June as we come to close out one of the most awesome fusions of gospel and jazz. It's a natural, a natural progression to have the gospel which is good news, and to have jazz, which is a smooth groove. <laughs> so if you would, beloved, be so kind as to join me in prayer. Most gracious God, we come before you to say thank you. Thank you for the beautiful afternoon you have given us. Thank you for allowing us to see it. Thank you for this beautiful mosaic that fills the iconic Hendrix Chapel. Now, Lord, as we go forth in this service, we know that all that we do is to bring glory to your name. And for that, we are eternally grateful. I pray in the name of the crucified carpenter from Galilee. Jesus is the name in which I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, this is a good house up in here today. Feels real good, real good, yeah. But beloved, in order for you to really feel at home, we're going to ask you, well, those of you who can, join me. Rest on your feet. That means stand up, stand up, stand up. I need for you to put your hands together for our official welcome which is going to come from the most dynamic dean on the campus of Syracuse University, Dr. Brian E. Conco. Uh, please sit down. It is 3.03 and we are already severely off script. <laughs> uh, today is about community. Today is about community from downtown to the hill, from Westcott to Salina, from Tip Hill to Eastwood, from the north side to the south side to the near west side, from the valley to Skunk City to the historic hilltop. From Erie Boulevard to Midland to State Street, from Manoa, Little Italy, Solvay, Cicero, from Skinny Atlas, Casanova, Camillus, Liverpool. From JD to FM to SU to Lemoyne to OCC. Today we gather here from near and far so we can return to community. We, we seek a common unity, which means we seek to do something different from what we so often witness in our world. Instead of calling people out, today we call people in. Instead of turning against each other, we turn towards each other. Instead of worrying about the weather, we break bread together. And instead of using words that sting, today and together we choose to use our words and sing. And in a world of far too much isolation, today and together, we gather for a Jazz Fest celebration. And we do this to be reminded once again that our community is like a choir. And we require different and dynamic voices to create and to sustain something truly beautiful. 
So to all gathered here today, on behalf of all of us at Hendricks Chapel, we are honored to host you. We are excited to welcome you. And please know that we intend to inspire you. We seek to stir you. We want to uplift you through the spirit and soul of this Sunday gospel jazz service, this grand finale of the National Grid Jazz Fest in 2023. So thank you to all for being here. Uh, I, I'm reminded that one of the most important prayers is the prayer of thanks. So for the next few moments, I want to read some names, and I ask you to receive these names as a prayer of thanksgiving, because there are so many people that made this day possible. First and foremost, I want to thank Frank Melfatano, the founder, executive director. Where are you at, Frank? Please, 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 please. There was a planning team that helped to put this together. We thank Dr. Roosevelt Rick Wright, Deborah Schoening, Evelyn Ingram, Sidney Johnson, Elder Melvin Baker, Reverend Dr. Eric Jackson, Gabrielle Pinckney, Reverend Phil Turner, Gwendolyn Kingsbury, Cora Thomas, Laura Kingsbury, Reverend Dr. Soretta McKnight, Bishop H. Bernard Alex, Iris St. Moran, Jim Lamana. From Dillard University, we thank Chairperson Corthiel Clark, Angela Stevens, Professor Samuel Davenport. And of course, our dear friend here at Syracuse University, the eighth president of Dillard University, Dr. Rochelle Ford. Yeah. We thank Vice Chancellor Mike Haney, Chancellor Kent Severud, and Dr. Ruth Chen of Syracuse University. And finally, a word of thanks and an introduction for Candace Campbell Jackson, Senior Vice President and Chief of Staff. The list I named of Jay just read was long and lovely, but without our next speaker, none of this today would be possible. She is an accomplished higher education executive, an exemplary leader with a distinguished record of accomplishment, a graduate of Howard University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism, Jackson received a JD from the University of Akron and later participated in the intensive and highly selective Harvard Institute for Education Management program. She is a sought after speaker on higher education administration, leadership, sports law, and administrative law. And on a personal note, uh, she is a trusted colleague, a treasured mentor, and a beloved friend. Please let us welcome to the podium Senior Vice President and Chief of Staff of Syracuse University, Candace Campbell Jackson. Thank you. I am so thrilled to be with you and before you. I said to Brian, I'm going to get you for that introduction. That wasn't necessary. Um, but I want to just do maybe two things this morning. I want to thank and welcome you all here. I want to thank you on behalf of our Chancellor, Kent Siverud, and our leadership team. In particular, I want to recognize Dean Michael Tix, who is the Dean of the Visual and Performing Arts College. So if you could wave, Dean Tick, let them all see you. Because <laughs> Brian was sharing the list of people who've been involved in making this happen. So my role is a tiny role. It started with a trip to um, the installation and the investiture of my friend from Howard University and my colleague, former colleague at Syracuse, Dr. Rochelle Ford. Uh, the chancellor sent me to represent the university, and as many of you know, travel these days is trying. So by the time I got delayed in LaGuardia for who knows how many hours and finally landed in New Orleans, it was 2 a.m. in the morning. And we had to be on campus by 11 o'clock, well actually by 10 o'clock and getting ready to be in robes and all of that by 11. So I was lacking in sleep, I was hot, 
and I was in a bad mood. But like we all do, I put on the smile and I was going around and just trying to bring a little joy to the situation, but it wasn't in my heart. So I get into the Lawless Memorial Chapel on Dillard's campus and I'm sitting down and I happen as luck would have it, I was sitting next to the woman who was coordinating everything. So then I got to pick up her anxiety and she was directing people and I'm like, bad flight, hot day, heavy robes, and I have to watch somebody who's in charge of all of this. So then Professor Davenport and the Dillard University Ensemble come out. And when I tell you that they took me from annoyance to joy, it was transformative of spirit and mind. And I began thinking right there, now how am I gonna get these kids and Professor Davenport to Syracuse? And I was remembering, and I've been so inspired by our own BCCE, um, their artistry, their testimony, um, the, the partnership that so many of the alum are to Syracuse University. And I'm like, okay, I got something coming, but nothing really. And then I said, wake up, Candace. Jazz and gospel yes. are connected. Yes. Deeply rooted. And so I said, if I could just get back to Syracuse University and whisper a little something in Brian Conkle's ear, and a little something in the chancellor's ear, and a little something in Vice President Sidney Johnson's ear, let's see what happens. And when I tell you that it was just a seed that those people that I mentioned took and planned and thought and prayed over and it was blessed, that's it. I mean, it was just a little seed. And I will tell you, and you'll see why in a few minutes, um, the Dillard Choir, is so amazing and so exciting. And I have been receiving pictures and notes and videos of their, let's say, inspired many performances everywhere they go in Syracuse, from the, the airport to campus. And you will see the joy that they bring. And you will see why um, we really wanted to treat all of you in this community uh, to this choir and to use this really as the beginning of a partnership that's going to continue. And we're going to work really hard to see if our BCCE students maybe want to go to New Orleans next year. Yeah. Maybe Woo. the alum. And President Ford and I have already been chatting about that. So we're just really trying to focus on what are some of our most important gifts and contributors, and so I'm so glad that you are all here. The last thing I want to do before I go take a seat and help us get back on schedule, because I got a you know, sister back here, I know she's like, come on Candace, wrap this up, is I want to take just a minute to thank the university partnerships that we have with National Grid, that we have with Wegmans, that we have with so many partners who are represented here. that we have with so many of the local churches and their pastors and their congregations. You take care of our students and our faculty and staff, and we really appreciate that. So thank you all for being here, and be blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Candace Campbell-Jackson. We're, gonna, we're going to move now, beloved, and we are going to call for a musical selection. But it's really a trio. You know, I, I graduated from this place like 47, 46, 48 years ago. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't need my glasses. <laughs> ah, much better, yes. So. Beloved, we now will hear from the Black Celestial Call Ensemble, BCCE, TAG BCCE, that's the alumni, alumni group, and then, of course, members of the Syracuse community for the community choir. Together, we are the Unity Choir, and we're going to tell you about a happy day and how our steps are ordered, and then we're going to close out. What's Ricky's song? All my help, see? That's it. Call and response. We want you to enjoy yourselves, beloved, as we get started. Under the direction 
of Sister Cora Thomas, the First Lady of Gospel in Central New York. Sing that again. Sing, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. He washed my sins away.
I just don't know where to go. Lord, I need you to guide my feet. Lord, I need you to guide my feet. I know I'm not the only one in this place. Sometimes you may not know the way to go. You may not know the way to go. But ask the Lord to guide your feet. To order your steps and to wash your heart. Yes. Order my steps, Lord. Can we just can we just take a moment just to give God some praise right now? She said, order my steps in your word. Order my heart, order my tongue, order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I know y'all came for Jazz Fest, but Lord is in this place right now. Come on and give him the praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. The song says, all of my help comes from you, dear God. I put my faith in you. I put my trust in you. All of my help comes from you. All right, we want to ask y'all to stand up and clap and join in with us and have some fun, all right?
BCCE tag, BCCE and the community. Praise God. Thank you so much. That was under, that last selection was under the direction of Brother Byron Canada, who served BCCE for about 13 years as director. The first selection, Oh Happy Day, was under the direction of the First Lady of Gospel, Sister Cora Thomas. And then, beloved, Order My Steps featuring uh, Lady Evelyn Hoskins. Was under the direction of, uh, what's that girl name? Oh, me. <laughs> I am Soretta McKnight, and certainly I am the proud founder of BCCE. <laughs> and beloved, we are on the road to 50. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Isn't that right, Lori Kay? All right. So we're going to keep on moving because I know you are antsy after that warm-up. Wasn't that some warm-up for you? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait until Dillard gets here. But before they do, Cora Thomas, if you would join Dean Conkle up here, please, for a moment. With, with Sister Cora? Cora Thomas, Sister Cora, where, where's she at? You know I got my bad glasses on. Come on up here, baby. <laughs> So today we want to make a special presentation to express our appreciation for Cora. Uh, she was born and raised here in Syracuse, and known locally, as been mentioned here, as the First Lady of Gospel. Uh, as so many of us in this space know, Cora supports so many community organizations and efforts. Uh, she hosts Sunday morning gospel on WAER 88.3 at the SI Newhouse School. Uh, each and every year, she leads our music at the Martin Luther King celebration next door in the other Holy Dome uh, on this campus. Uh, <laughs> there's probably more prayer that happens over there, right? You know. Uh, uh, every <laughs> We're recording this, though, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so when we, when we called her to help out with this service, Cora, number one, answered the phone, uh, and then number two, answered the call. So we want to express our appreciation for Cora. Can we all please rise again as thank Cora for it? That's for you. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're going to keep this train moving. Yes, we are. Those of you from Manhattan know about the MTA, our subway system, but this afternoon, MTA stands for Move the Agenda. So, we're going to head on down to New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana and we are going to experience the fusion of gospel and jazz. The other evening I was talking to uh, Terrence Blanchard and he was saying to me, Sreddy, you know, most people don't know that there is a real relationship between gospel and between jazz. Instead of me sitting here, Frank, trying to explain it, we're going to ask you, beloved, to get with this awesome, awesome, awesome group of young people, the Dillard University, concert, choir, under the direction of none other than Professor Davenport. Yes. Put your hands together, beloved, for Dillard yes. University.
if it had not been for the Lord on our side, tell me where we're going to be. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. the 6th chapter, around about the 11th or 12th verse, where Daniel was caught in the pit. And King Darius wanted him to obey his God. But how many know that the God we serve is a just God? Because King David, Daniel, was a righteous man. They couldn't find anything on him. You know how that goes when people try to accuse you of things that you know you didn't do, but they try to accuse you anyway. He was found not guilty in the eyesight of the Lord. Here, the male quartet, as they come with, didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Then why not every man? Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel? Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Then why not every man? Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel? Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Then why not every man?
The Bible says, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You got to put on that whole arm of God because you don't know how the enemy is going to attack you. So you got to be ye always ready. Hear our male quartet come as they will be singing, We Are Soldiers. We have to fight, fight, although we have to die. We have to hold, we have to hold up the bloodstained banner. Oh yes, we, we have, have to hold it up until we die. die. Oh, we are soldiers in the army. We have to fight, although we have to die. We have to hold, we have to hold up the bloodstained banner. Oh yes, we have to hold it up until we die. You know my mother, she was a soldier. She had a hand on the gospel plow. The gospel plow. And one day she got old, she couldn't fight anymore. She said, I'll stand here and fight anyhow. Lord, I'm telling you that we are soldiers in the army. We have to fight, fight, although we have to die. We have to hold, we have to hold up the bloodstained banner. Oh yes, we have to hold it up until we die. You know my mother, she was a soldier.
because Jesus promised that he would take care of me. Oh, how marvelous it is. For Jesus promised he would take care of me. I don't have to worry. Because he promised he would take care of me. Because I'm available to you. Now we're going way back.
it's, it's not programmed. It's not programmed as such, but I'm gonna ask the female ensemble, that's the female ensemble, I'm gonna ask them to do another selection also. as we come and sing for every mountain. Allow the words that are being ministered, let it marinate in your spirit. Because we all have been through some things just this week that we didn't think God was going to pull us through. But how many people know that God is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore?
why do you cry? Oh my God. He has risen. He ain't dead. He, he died in three days, but on the third day, he rose with all power in his hand. And I don't know about you, but I feel good right now in the spirit.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, you're merciful, God. Thank you. just don't know it. We know when we go back, we got to go back to the heat box, but that's okay. Because the same God that's in here now, we're going to take the same God back to New Orleans when he's there. Amen? The song simply says, I'm going to lay down my burdens 
down by the riverside. Now get your clap, whether you're on the one, two clap, the three, four clap, the off clap, the upbeat clap, whatever your clap is, you just clap, clap, clap. Amen? Amen. How many are having a good time today? Come on, clap your hands and say praise the Lord. We're going to bring it back down to the rivers and the bayous. Can we have some Louisiana, New Orleans, Cajun Creole church for a second? Anybody from Louisiana in here? Come on, clap your hands. Hey. somebody you ought to have been there to see the presence of the Lord flow because let me tell you something and I got to say this because when God pecks my heart I have to say it 
I'm so glad that we can all come on one accord as one body and serve God. Doesn't matter what you sing, what I say. Doesn't matter what choir you sing, we can all come on one accord. Our last and final selection will be when the saints go marching in. Can we praise God Mardi Gras style? <laughs> Anybody ever been down to the Mardi Gras in the body? <laughs> Can we praise the Mardi Gras style? Y'all ready? One, two.
See, that's some good old-fashioned orange love right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Beloved, the dean of the chapel, uh, Dean Brian Conkle, will come at this time to make a presentation, and then we'll be followed by a musical selection combined, and then we're going to hear from the creator of the Jazz Fest, uh, Frank Malfitano. Is that all right? <laughs> Go ahead, Dean. This is the 20th anniversary of the Syracuse men's basketball team winning the national championship in New Orleans. So we've, uh, we, we've enjoyed New Orleans for a long time. Uh, we thank you, Professor Davenport, and to the choir. We have a very special gift for you. Let's give them one more big round of applause. This has been just tremendously wonderful being here the few days that we have been here. And we want to just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your wonderful hospitality. Um, though your response is so... I, I am extremely proud of these young people up here. They work so hard. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They worked so hard for this occasion, and I am honored to be their director. I'm humbled. We, we are, we're especially proud to have our illustrious president. She's here, not, not here today, but her name is Dr. Rochelle Ford, and she was one inspirational in getting us up here. So we thank her from the bottom of our hearts. Being in here in Syracuse at this Jazz Fest has been an awesome experience. And an experience that we will forever cherish within our hearts. And to be able to perform on this beautiful campus and in this sacred God-given edifice is a blessing. We are thankful and we are humbled. Now very briefly, I want to take this time for them just to introduce themselves to each other, tell you their names and where they're from very currently. Elena Robinson, and I'm from Prairieville, Louisiana. Good evening, everyone. My name is Martique Reddit, and I'm from St. Gabriel, Louisiana. Janelle Reddit, St. Gabriel, Louisiana. Good evening. My name is Zaria Ivory, and I'm from Oakland, California. Hello, everyone. My name is Sine Bradley, and I am from Detroit, Michigan. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aja Barfold, and I'm from Harlem, New York. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my name is Miracle Smith, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Good afternoon, my name is Abby Lynn Gonzalez, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Good afternoon, I'm Covey Joseph, and I'm from Letcher, Louisiana. Good afternoon, my name is Dante Smallwood, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Good afternoon, my name is Cornelius Johnson, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. 
Good afternoon, my name is Andreas Lai. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Good evening, I'm Jared Jefferson from Memphis, Tennessee. Good evening, I'm Sandra Smallwood and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hi everyone, my name is Alasia Alexander and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hello everyone, my name is Ravian Burns and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hello everyone, my name is Carly Martin and I'm from Generet, Louisiana. Hello everybody, my name is Denaja Jones and I'm from Jackson, Louisiana. Hi everyone, my name is Toro Lewis and I'm from Falls Church, Virginia. Good evening everyone, my name is Ariane Randall and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hello everyone, my name is Tate Robertson and I'm from Slidell, Louisiana. Hey y'all, I am Micaiah Hill and I'm from Pearl, Mississippi. All in the state of Louisiana, I am Trina Marie Payne. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dillard University Choir. Okay. We have also our, our extraordinarily talented musicians. We have our keyboardist, Mr. Jose Reddit. And, and he is the father of one of the choir members, Ms. Martique Reddit, and the husband of one of the choir members, Ms. Reddit. We have a very gifted bass, bass uh, guitarist and a member of the Dillard faculty, Dr. Mr. Joshua Hawkins. And, and our administrative assistant that has traveled with us, Ms. Angela Stevens. Where are you, Angela? We want to give a, a special thank you to Dr. Con Conco, who, who has been a wonderful, so wonderful us in dealing with the many aspects of the trip. Always with godly kindness, Dr. Conco, we thank you. We also want to thank Ms. Bianca Breed, Ms. Soretta McKnight, and Ms. Cora Thomas for their tremendous help toward making things run so smoothly and doing it with benevolence and kindness. We thank you. Good to meet you, Professor Davenport. Give them another hand, give them another hand. This is the combined Dillard University, the Syracuse Unity Choir, as they do uh, every praise, I believe, is what we're doing combined. Um, and then when we finish that, we're coming back for our final presentation and benediction, and we'll hear from the founder of the Gospel Jazz Fest. Is that all right? You have been wonderful. You have been wonderful.
This has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been awesome. It's been all that. A bag of chips, some dip. It was fabulous. And, and if you did not enjoy yourself, well, I'll pray for you. Beloved, this afternoon would not have taken place. Thank you to the grad chapter of Soros of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated for serving as ushers. So good to see some radio personalities in the house. George Kirkpatrick, Butch Charles, the legend himself. We thank you for being here. And these are folks, see Jack, uh, these are folks who supported us over the 46 years to make us get this far on the road to 50. But right now, beloved, the dean, you know, he, he is a dot the I cross the T type uh, person. See, he's in the back of me making faces now. <laughs> saying, and, and, and what he's saying is, oh, she's off script again. But uh, those are the breaks. If Dean Brian Conkle would come up, please. This says, beloved, this says, on this historic occasion of the inaugural Return to Community, a Sunday gospel jazz service at Hendricks Chapel, Syracuse University, BCCE, TAG, BCCE, and the Steering Committee salute the Reverend Brian E. Conkle, PhD. <laughs> Dean of Hendricks Chapel, we thank you for your leadership, stand up team, in assembling this diverse committee to bridge the gap between campus, city, and central New York community. We honor you for your service. Gabrielle Pinckney, director, current of BCCE. Cora Thomas, music director for this extravaganza, and yours truly. <laughs> uh, the Reverend Dr. Soretta C. McKnight, founder, BCCE, tag BCCE, co-founder. This is presented this 25th day of June. You weren't expecting it, but you've earned it, and you do have the heart that they talk about. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Give it up! 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 Okay, we got it. Yeah, that's you. We'll put it in the, the envelope, please. Uh, upside down. Upside down. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, the mic is yours. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, one more. Uh, none of this would be possible without Frank Malfatano. And. Um, Jazz Fest is one of the largest and most important festivals in the United States. This summer event features an outstanding, eclectic mix, uh, and none of it would be happening without Frank Malfitano. He is a giant in this field. He is a giant in our community, and I thank him for his trust and faith in trying something new and giving it a go. So, uh, Frank, can you, can you please come forward? We want to salute you today. Please come forward. Mama Malfitano didn't raise no fool. <laughs> As you can hear, I have no voice left, but when God calls, you answer. <sighs> 
Today was not an accident. Today was not a coincidence. Today was divinely inspired, but I'm gonna tell you when it was inspired. My sisters, Melanie and Sydney, are a couple of slicksters. I'm gonna get them later, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I know what this is all about. 60 years ago, there was an organization called the Congress of Racial Equality. Yes. And one of the pastors that was instrumental was from People's AME Zion Church, the Reverend Emery Proctor. And I walked into the church because <clears throat> I heard there was going to be a demonstration. And I said, can I join you? And he said, yes. Are you sure you're in the right place? <laughs> I said, I think I am. And he said, well, have a seat. But remember, where you sit is where you stand. <clears throat> Later that year, I was 17 years old. I had graduated from high school at 16. I'm going to keep this brief, really. I'm not going to do the last 60 years, all right? Or the last 78. I'm an old man now. I'm tired. I've been through a lot of shoes. But I ain't worn out yet. There was a march that August in Washington, D.C. And I went to the march with a bus that left from the church, and I met the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, who changed my life, who saved my life. I also met Aretha Franklin that day and Mahalia Jackson. Today is not an accident. Today is not a coincidence. 60 years ago, that was God. Today, this is God. I love my city. I love Syracuse University. I'm very proud to be a graduate. And uh, yes, that's all right. You can, you can clap for a second. I know it's been a long program, and I know we've had to sit. Boy, you guys are great. You guys are great. Dillard University, man. And you guys are great, and you beautiful young ladies, man. The BCCE from Syracuse University representing. You know, listen, I heard you cheering for Harlem. I heard you cheering for Detroit. I heard you cheering for New Orleans. And I don't blame you, because I've lived and worked in all those places. But you darn sure better cheer for Syracuse, New York. I'm a homeboy, and I'm a bad man. Don't mess with me. So God keeps sending me these wonderful messengers through the years, okay, repeatedly. Because I get down. There's, there's times I get a little tired. I feel like quitting. You know, I march for civil rights. I march for human rights. I march, march for women's rights. I was at the Poor People's Campaign, Resurrection City. I've been marching a long time. But I'm... I'm still marching, because we still got work to do. Don't we? We still have some work to do. The reason I walked into that church 60 years ago is because I didn't like the way things were. I don't like the way things are today, folks. I love the way things are today, if you get my drift, but I don't like what I see around us. Jazz Fest is God's work. I don't play a note. Thank God. I don't sing. I try to stay off stage as much as possible and give all credit and all glory to God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But don't tell anybody about my testimony today because, you know, they got to think I'm a bad man. So we got work to do. But today... 
to be here to celebrate with you, to thank the Lord with you for this beautiful week we've had and this amazing music. I mean, so I want to just go back to, and I hope this doesn't sound blasphemous to anybody, okay? And I hope you're cool with it. Are you cool with it? Because if Sister Soretta McKnight gets, is not cool with it, I'm in trouble. I could thank everybody in this room, man. Joe Godley, Butch Charles, Melanie, Leroy Glenn Wright, Phil Turner. Listen, the community adopted me when I was 17 years old. My father passed. Sister Harriet Royal Inez Heard. I mean, these were the folks that looked out for me. Mr. Betsy, Linton Betsy. And then the next wave came along, his sons, John and Robert. The community has embraced me. The community has supported me. I thank you all from the community. I thank you for believing in this mission because this is God's mission, not mine. Thank you. I said it's tough. We haven't figured it all out yet. But today, I know why we're here today. I got married to my beautiful wife on April 4th, the anniversary of our first date. It was also the day we lost Martin. The night before, he was talking to striking sanitation workers in Memphis, Tennessee. And he said these words, which I will try to repeat. We got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but we as a people will get to the promised land. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And I'm happy this afternoon. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. John, good to see you, beloved. Uh, and Charlie Lester, good to see you. Originals from the original BCCE. Thank you all so much, beloved. Give Frank Malfitano another hand. And one more time, let's give God some glory. Just show you, put your hands together for all that has transpired on this afternoon. The inaugural Jazz Fest. Isn't that wonderful? Inaugural Gospel Jazz Fest because we want to see this again next year, don't we? To all those who had everything to do with this, we thank you, we appreciate you. God bless each and every one of you. If every head would bow, and every eye would close. Lord God, it is only you who could do this. It is only you who could bring us all together in a spirit of love. It is only you, and you are the one whom we give all glory to. We thank you 
for all that has transpired. We thank you for Frank, we thank you for Brian, most of all, all of these participants, Dillard University, the Unity Choir of BCCE, TAG BCCE, and the community of Syracuse. We thank you for all of them, for everyone who worked to make this thing happen, Lord God. We salute you, God, because you were able in such a climate to do such a thing as this. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Now, Lord, as Dillard prepares to depart our city, we ask you to give them traveling mercy. Continue to bless these young people. Let them continue to give you glory, honor, and praise. We pray for their president. We thank Candace Campbell Jackson. We thank Kent Severud. We thank Syracuse University and being in the chapel. So now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, may it rest, may it rule, and may it abide with each of us henceforth now and forever. And we all said together, Amen. Amen. Thank, you. Thank you. Go ahead, Professor. It's fare ye well, fare ye well. If I never, ever see you anymore, I'll meet you on that other shore. Fare ye well. Fare ye well. Help us out now. Fare ye well. Fare ye well. Oh, if I never, ever. Fare ye well. Fare ye well. Oh, fare ye well. If you only understood, fare ye well. Oh, live the life. You say a prayer.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.